Hey mateys, it's your GM Jason here. Starting off this episode with a bit of a content warning. This episode features some heavy content in the form of child imprisonment and neglect, which I know it might be a bit too much for some of our audience. It was a bit heavy for me when I was GMing the episode. So what I'll do is I'm going to signal the warning bell before the content hits in the episode, and that will allow you to skip ahead if it's going to be a bit too heavy. So, um, secondly, don't forget to join our Discord. We'd love to have you as part of our community. And don't forget to check out our Patreon. That helps us keep the adventure alive and helps us keep going at full sails. And lastly, let the, let the people out there know that your party has never ended. Okay, with that out of the way, on to the episode. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the I'm Jason. What's going on? How you doing? I got the crew. What's up, crew? Uh, Hello. <laughs> we're the crew. Uh, we're doing pretty good, I think, all things considered. Nice. Nice. Rachel, how doing you doing? Well. A little quiet? Well, I just got done jamming... Uh, a bunch of 11-year-olds, so wiped out. Oh, yeah. So, here's a question for you. As somebody who's never ran for a group of 11-year-olds in particular, what is the major difference you notice between a group of 11-year-old adventurers and running for adults? The attention span. Okay. <laughs> get through maybe two rounds of combat before they're all talking and socializing and not paying attention anymore. So, yes. You get okay. through about one fight, you send them outside, you bring them back in, do one more fight. <laughs> it's a drawn-out process. I, I feel like there's days where Jason would probably like to send us all outside for a few minutes and then have us come back. <laughs> go outside, go touch what? grass, come back. No. Go burn off some energy. <laughs> yeah. What? No. No. Uh, no? Oh, all right. I wouldn't blame you. I'd like to go outside. I would love to go outside. I want to play D&D outside sometime, man. Now, especially with, great. with autumn coming around, it will actually be enjoyable to be outside. It's called LARPing. Oh, okay. I'm down. I really want to LARPing try LARPing. LARPing doesn't have dice. <laughs> yeah, LARP. Well, <laughs> Reach out to imagine? me. I can get you involved in a local LARP group. Okay. Yeah, I'm a member of the Local largest LARP community or... in North America. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, there's locations all over that are all affiliated. Oh, okay. yeah. That's cute. Sure. Yeah, I've been heavily looking into join or getting active with the local one in Calgary since I've uh, gotten out here oh. just stabilizing the job, and then I can look forward to winter adventures because they run year round. Nice. Awesome. <clears throat> All right, so cereal. So keep going. Are we actually going to talk about cereal? Or we're we actually just... going to talk about cereal. Okay. There, there, I don't believe you anymore. I... <laughs> There's been a cereal mutiny. People have been talking about cereal. We're going to talk about cereal. Okay. What's your favorite? <laughs> Everybody gets to name their favorite cereal. This Oops is a big all one. berries. Oops all berries. Interesting choice. Why is that? I... I just a fiend for sugary cereals, and that one's just nothing but sugar. Mm. I don't know. The the Captain Crunch is always great, though. If Oops All Berries isn't available because it rarely ever is, um, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. That's a classic. Nah, that's a classic. That's a good one. I'm thinking right now, of like the cereal, like of my favorite cereal. There's like a bunch of cereals I've gotten to eat. I mean. When I was growing up, one of my favorite ones was like the Count Chocula cereal. <laughs> that brings me Did to an interesting point. I hear all you down in the States, uh, you southerners south of the ice wall, 
this October we'll be getting a limited time pack that has Count Chocula, Booberry, and Frankenberry All in, right, well, I'm in a to three pack those. together. I need to and get it's those not going to be available in Canada, and I'm a little resentful. Corey, do you want us to send some to you? <laughs> Shipping is crazy expensive to send anything here. Trust me, I've looked into it. I'll like four, like four, it. four pounds of candy is like $75. I'll send oh it via catapult. <laughs> I'll go to the border and I'll send it via catapult. Better luck finding somebody with Trebuchet. a really big drone. Yeah. <laughs> but if it was like an actual like cereal where I'm going to be like, yeah, I'm going to buy this while I'm at a grocery store and feel like I'm an adult, uh, I'd probably get Honey Bunches of Oats. I really like Honey Bunches of Oats. Those are good. Those are good. Especially the one with almonds in it. really like it. Mm -hmm. uh, but I also will agree, Cinnamon Toast Crunch is kind of like the king, especially if, like, the milk afterwards is, like, way better. That's, that is a whole other thing, too. Yeah. What do you mean, bleh? Excuse, hold bleh. on. Cinnamon, yuck. <laughs> All right, then what's yours? <laughs> You're going to come after Cinnamon Toast Crunch. <laughs> I mean, I've the cereal I eat is still the cashew cereal that I posted in. The picture of my oh. kid's spork with. <laughs> sugary cereal, I would probably get Captain Crunch or Fruit Loops. I haven't mm. had sugary cereal in forever, though, so any sugar that doesn't also have cinnamon I in it. I agree with Captain Crunch or Apple Jacks. <laughs> uh. Apple Jacks have cinnamon. They're so good. Yeah, yeah so. do you remember the commercials? Like, and I go buy him cinnamon. <laughs> that was their whole I, thing. <laughs> you're a dork. I. I'm a big fan of Frosted Mini Wheats. Those are good. I love me the Frosted Mini Wheats. I I like them. I like eating mm -hmm. them dry right out of the box. And I also like eating them when they're like pillows of milk <laughs> uh, with a spoon. Jace, you can't just say pillows of milk. That's what? like deeply <laughs> upsetting. That was I, so I, think it's, I think it's fine. I understand exactly where you're coming I from. I understand what he means, but I was like, I hate that. Oh, that doesn't sound right. No, I can not say that. Right Did I say something offensive? I, I don't... No, 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 it's nothing. It's not anything offensive. Soggy it just sounds... Cereal. It's, it belongs in the cursed altar. Like, chat. It's, it's, it's something you can use to describe many wheats, but not a person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. So, for myself, when it comes to cereal, I'm uh, I'm a big fan of Frosted Flakes. I generally always have a box of Frosted Flakes. That being said, the recent release of Cinnamon Rice Krispies was quite a Ooh. quite a close comparison. Um, oh. Hard a hard balance there. But if I can get it, uh, there's the I think it's the Special Care K mixed berries. And that Ooh, stuff's yes. great. Ooh. It might be the honey bunches of oats mixed berries. I can't remember. Either one of them are very good. I eat like four boxes of cereal a week. So it's really hard to pick Fiend. a favorite. I just go through them. I've eaten, I ate a box, almost a box of corn pops in the past 24 hours. Like, oh. And they taste more like corn now than they ever did before. But I'm still going to eat the whole box. Yeah, oh, you're right. I, you're absolutely right. Not, corn pops now taste, taste like corn way more so than they did in the early 90s. Those There's are the ones that are in the cereal. foil bag, right? We they used to be in the foil bag. regular cereal. No, okay. I, re I remember what you're talking about. Yeah, Jackson, they used to be in that, like, the foil bag. Yeah. Do you remember what corn pops even look like? They're, like, yeah, they're they're just, like little like, pieces of corn. corn, basically. Yeah. Look, Kellogg's I, Corn Pop cereal. Part uh, of a complete no. breakfast. I haven't they're had delicious. them in years. Oh, I had some not that long ago. They were really good. Now, I will say, I'm not a huge fan of, like, super sugary cereal, but I will say... Well, the very first time I had Fruity Pebbles, so when you substitute Rice Krispies for Fruity Pebbles yep. in a Rice Krispie bar. Those are good. And Ooh. you make a Fruity Pebble bar. I've had it where both Changed of them are actually. Changed my life. Actually, I've had That's... it where it's actually both of them in like the Rice Krispies bar. And it tastes really good that way, too. Yeah. All right, I Jason. I recently I gotta bought my first box that, yeah. of Fruity Pebbles, and honestly, I wasn't that impressed. That's well, valid. But yeah, they get fruity soggy pebbles too quick. Fruity pebbles, <laughs> when you drink, done. when you eat them with milk, yeah, they get soggy way too quick. Yeah, yeah. But when you eat them in a Rice Krispie bar form, they are amazing. I'll throw this idea at you, Jason. Cocoa pebbles. 
Mm. Cocoa pebbles yep. are good. To do it with chocolate. That would I'm be a good big too. chocolate cereal person, so hard pass on that one. Fair enough. Really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Corey, you... the cereal fiend, hating chocolate cereal. In yeah, Mexico? you're not gonna catch me buying, you know, Reese Puffs or <gasps> uh, Nesquik Blasphemy. or even like Crave does the ones with the chocolate on the inside of the cereal. All right, well, let's not go crazy. Come on. Get here. me out of here. <laughs> no, th- Come no, on, thank dude. you. Yeah, just chocolate doesn't belong in my cereal. It's kind of like cinnamon. If I'm going to have Cinnamon Toast Crunch, it's not for breakfast. That's something I eat in late in the evening, and it's more of a dessert than a breakfast item. So it really matters what context you handle cereal in, in have... for when its proper consumption happens. Now, question for all of you. Have you actually had like ice cream cereal, where it's like Cinnamon Toast Crunch ice cream or something yes. like that? Like, yeah. Like the cereal is mixed in the ice cream. Yeah, like, like it's actually. Sundae? So okay. it's the milk from the cereal and the cereal itself mixed into the ice cream. So you get the flavors from the cereal itself in it. It's really good that way. Here's. Here is. For you. <laughs> here's a question for you, connoisseurs. <laughs> Your cereal <laughs> connoisseurs. All right. Have you tried. Peanut butter toast crunch. I have not. Interesting. I don't believe it's been available in Canada. I I've have, tried it. I haven't tried it. I've I tried want it to. because my mom likes peanut butter, and so do I. It's, it was a curse that she handed down to me when I was born. Uh, <laughs> we're all just eat like spoons of peanut butter. Me too. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. It's so good that way. Mm-hmm. Peanut butter is also on my shit list. Oh. <laughs> Oh, but yeah, this I've is had, a hard. <laughs> go ahead. I've had peanut butter. I've had uh, the peanut butter uh, toast crunch. It's really good. Nice. And they make it's a, a hard... French toast crunch, don't they? They do. It's delicious. It's it's mid at best. All right. I mean, I, <laughs> listen, I'm not gonna take your opinions here anymore, Mister, because you fucking poo pooed on chocolate cereal, so I don't know what to tell you. I stand by my fact. <laughs> My my twenty five dollars a week on cereal, I think, uh, validates me enough to have an opinion on it. But what do I know? I can't get half the stuff you guys get down there, and maybe can't it keeps it me up at night. Shit in it. Yeah, yeah. There's no there's no blueberries here. You crazy? I need to check. I heard there was recently strawberries and cream frosted flakes. We don't Ooh. get those. That's for sure. That's sad. Oh, that's yep. so sad. That's that that sounds delicious. Corey, you live yeah. a sad life without fun cereal. <laughs> yeah, but they get ketchup chips, and I and we don't get that uh, down here, and we I do. really want them. Do you guys get all dressed? No. No, we don't. Oh. I had a buddy bring some down. Dude, I was going to say, all ketchup. dressed chips are just spicy ketchup, but it, with barbecue. Yeah, Dude, that's exactly what it was. I, I want we, both of those, and we don't get those. We do technically get ketchup chips down here, by the way. Like, some Targets and HEBs will actually sell it. Not Maybe in here. Texas. We're in Minnesota. We're we're considered South Canada. I'm so don't... sorry, dog. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine chips would be cheaper to send. They're just bags of air, essentially. Yeah. Now, except like it, packing peanuts. Yeah, except they they get crushed. Yeah. Then it's, it's better like toppings for things too. You know who <laughs> else is about to get crushed? Me. Subiac. <laughs> <laughs> Because nothing important happened last last episode. Oh, yeah, no, nothing, no, nothing at, at all. Carry on. Nothing at all. No. Nothing at all. Life altering. He just he just went to to a farm, <laughs> met a cute old lady. <laughs> cute, yeah. Who Fuck. is an old living above a murder house? Yeah. Real that's, cute. <laughs> that's all that happened. Yeah. Totally normal things. Nothing oh, traumatic man. happened. Came out of that for Timothy. Nah, not at all. I don't know what you're talking about. It's not <laughs> like he he's now being Jaeger piloted by something that's called the Dark Star. Crazy. No, no. <laughs> no. He does. He doesn't have some, you know, unrepressed or some repressed trauma due to hags. Yeah. No. Uh, what? Crazy. Hags? What? Hags? This economy. Yeah, thank you. You gave me to it, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, that's that all happened. Y'all went to the Dardis Farms and found that the Dardis families, well, at least one of them, has been murdered. Grizzly. Murdered. 
Yeah, it was it was a nasty sight. The the you went into the house, found a body that's been flayed to death with mm -hmm. what looks like a, a whip, smell of ozone in the air, bloody footprints leading up the star stairs to the second floor. Didn't really find much evidence in the in the living room. Decided to go right up the stairs. The didn't you didn't check the kitchen. Just went right upstairs. Took your time. Did take a look at the all the bedrooms. Nothing found nothing in the bedrooms, but you did manage to open one of the windows to let Zaba in. Uh, by the way, the windows on the second floor have all been the curtains have all been drawn shut. The windows on the first floor are mm -hmm. open. Are the curtains are all open, but on the second floor they're all drawn shut. And you met an elderly Orpok woman who calls herself Goodly Granny. She insists that you, that you all come in one at a time to uh, because she's not feeling right. And the doctor told her that she needs to she needs to rest. She needs to heal. She needs to stay in bed. That that there's she's sick. Uh, there is a roaring fireplace in this room, and. She's in there, heavy bed, covered in blankets in this quilt. Yeah. And as you come in, one at a time, Timothy goes in first. Mm hmm. You creeping ever closer. Then Vesuviac comes stumbling in. She gets a little bit upset, saying, No, leave. I said one at a time. Vesuviac's having none of it. Then Zaba's like, Hey, what's up? <laughs> I didn't hear anything. What'd you say? One at a time. I'm a good. I'm a good guy. I what? One. One. I I don't know. And then <laughs> that sounds at pretty that accurate point, to me. Yeah. Yeah. At that point is when she revealed herself to actually not be the goodly granny and tries to lash out at Vesuviac. Timothy intervenes. And we have a quick cutscene where Timothy flashes back to his past. And we now find ourselves in combat. So let's roll some initiative, folks. Let's roll them bones. All right. Oh, boy. Here goes. Oh, did initiative start? Yeah, roll some initiative. All right, I just had to make sure. It was slow on my side. Wow, his poor roll on my side. All right, we shall begin the encounter. As this is go all going on, you heard this lashing out, and Tim and Timothy's like, "All right, you're gonna see some real shit," and yeah. still. You get to react first. Yeah, so I'd been still slinking around in the hallway. Uh, so I will. Oops, it's paused still. Alright, just making sure I know my feet. I will sneak around the door. Coming. Oh, it's still dark. So coming around 510 through Saba. I will move up. Next to her. There we go. And so I did not. And move up again. Oh, I'm sorry. Drop into a stance. How far did I move? Too far. Okay. And I can't get close enough to also hit her. So, yeah. I will glare at her. Okay. Target and demoralize. Yep. I don't have the actions, but Ooh. yeah, intimidation. 18 on the die for 29. Versus her will DC, that is. Wait, well, one second here. Uh, that is a success. Yes, success. Just frightened one. All right. So that's a success. We will go to 
the granny next. <laughs> who is actually a hag. And they will get to go as she looks right at Timothy. She's like, oh, I feel the energy now. Oh, I, I've heard about you. The covens speak about you. Oh, this will be nice. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna feast upon you, child. Oh, I'm gonna feast upon you and all of your kin. The Dark Star looks to the hag and he kind of like cricks his neck a little bit and he just smiles. Doesn't say anything, just smiles. And it's rather upsetting to look at because it's not a normal Timothy smile. Well, it's a lot more wider than it should be. And it will lash out at Timothy with the whip. Hit me. Well, that's fuck. A, that's a crit. <laughs> hit me. Well, shit. If there's one thing I know, it's saying things like hit me or I'm yeah. going to do something stupid. It never ends well. Yeah. No. That's, oh my that's what you get. Wow! Holy shit. <laughs> that's what you get. That is what I get. You know, that's on me. That they was a, die instantly. That was 32 damage with that birch whip. As, as the as the hag just brings down this magical electric whip right at Timothy. Mm-hmm. And you all just hear this crack as as the whip comes down and a zap that just leaves this stench of burnt flesh and ozone right mm-hmm. across Timothy Timothy's chest. Yeah, let me take this fucking damage. Jesus. <laughs> you're not you're not down, are you? No. Or I can say hi. No. Timothy despite, you know, taking this nasty amount of damage, the dark star didn't let out any like guttural noises. It just kind of like snaps back. And just looks back at the hag. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. And uh, the hag will then lash out at Timothy with a claw. Bitch. That's a... Okay. Natural Ooh. two on the die is a miss. And then we'll do the plus five. Fourteen on the die is... That, that final one's a hit. Okay. And damage with the claw... 13. Timothy's still up. Okay, but. I'm going to use a reaction to do Protector Sacrifice, cast that spell, and take three of that damage instead. Okay, oh. you protect your ally by suffering in their... You don't technically have a reaction yet because your turn hasn't gone. Oh, okay, then never mind. Sorry. It's fine. I'm fine. Oh, fine. <laughs> as the hag as the hag's claws tear into Timothy's flesh you feel this 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 like almost burning sensation as you feel this tar being left inside your wounds and I need you to make this fortitude safe fuck Do I need to make it a secret roll? Is it public? What's up, It's dog? public. It's public. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Just let me make sure. That's a success. On the button, you are unaffected. Thank fuck. All I right. I don't need more damage. We go to, Ves- we go to Vesuviac next. Okay. Uh, instantly, I'm going to cast Lay on Hands on Timothy. <laughs> okay. Thanks, bud. All right. I appreciate the Dark Star will say nothing. Okay. So that's 12 damage back for you. Hell yeah, I will heal this. And then I will use my next two actions to cast the fear spell. Mmm. Nice. That'll be a DC 20 will save. This thing's okay. probably really good at it, but we'll see if we get lucky. Okay, Means- success, but it still gets frightened yep. once, so I guess Nine it's just on a- the die. 
is still a success, but still frightened one. Which is good, because her frightened went down at the end of her turn. Okay. And now it's back up. <gasps> and she looks at she looks at you like, Oh, oh, you worship that sun goddess, don't you? Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I think you're going to feel the sting of my whip next. And we go to Zaba. Uh, <laughs> well, you know, a lot of things have happened very quickly in just a few moments. So at first, I think, okay, maybe I hit ha- Timothy with hammer and he come back to normal state. But, you know, <laughs> the whipping didn't do it. So instead, because my teammates are in the way, I am forced to free action drop my hammer and then spend an action to uh, draw my trident so that I can reach over their heads and uh, strike at this nasty woman. Nasty! Ooh! Now that'll be a 24 to hit. Nice! 15, or 13 on the die for 24, that's a hit. For 12 damage. Alright, and I'll uh, lash out once more. All right. Ooh, it's a big old four on the die for a total of a ten. Don't think that's going to do it. Nah, that four on the die is not going to do it. Cool. All right, otherwise I'll just stay here. That's my turn, you know. All right. Mr. Mr. Bono. Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, I myself don't like how much damage I took. Okay. So... Here's what I want to do. Or rather, Timothy in this state, like, moves one of his, like, hands in a certain way, and he looks to this hag, and he is going to cast a spell, gang. He's going to catch a torturous trauma. Holy shit. Let me, let me reveal that. You're still showing that secret. Oh, I didn't, I didn't realize I was showing that a secret. Whoops. There we go. Okay. And yeah, so do you want me to read this out, by the way, or nah? Yeah, read it. Just read it out for the audience. Yeah. So with this spell born of Kim Kimbelli's sadistic love of torture, you batter a creature's internal organs, leaving no external signs of immense pain you delivered. The target takes uh, bludgeoning damage equal to 1d4 plus my spell casting modifier with a basic fortitude save. If it critically fails, the target also is fatigued until the start of its next turn. And creatures that lack internal organs are unaffected by the spell. So you're essentially casting all you can eat Taco Bell. Yeah, yeah, yo quiero Taco Bell and you fucking shit your brains out. <laughs> yeah, you just beat her insides up. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so she needs to make a fortitude save. Yeah. All right, let's roll it. Go on, Grandma. Don't do it. You bitch. Ten, ten on the <laughs> die is a success. Yeah. So that'll be half damage. All right, let me roll that damage. Hell yeah. Still nine. Hell Still yeah. Still nine damage. All right. So, yeah. Feels that pain. Probably not the best feeling in the world. And I guess after that, because I still got one more action. Maybe you want to move away. <laughs> yeah, I would like to move away. Hey, can I move away? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I'm going to back up just slightly. Rather, I want to still be able to see him. So I guess the Dark Star is going to move to be, yeah, 15. So he's moving over here. If All that right. makes sense. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it does. All right. So it does that spell and walks off, uh, walks back on over. And just keeps looking at this thing. It doesn't really, it's not really saying anything quippy, which is unlike Timothy. Yeah, and she she just lets off this grunt, like, oh. And we go to Syl. Yeah. So I'm going to move forward into the corner. And I'm passing by a window yep. as I do this. Yep. And I don't know, it seems weird that all the windows up here are you know, covered, so I'll use an action to open this window on an off chance that okay. she doesn't like the light for some reason. Okay. And then attack her. Sounds good. Oh, 
Oh, that's a natural mm. one on the die. Yeah. I don't like the light either, so not great. Okay. Don't worry right. that you've been in the darkness too long and you turn the lights on and your eyes are kind of fuzzy, but you still try yep. and lash out. Exactly. All right. Well, seeing as how the person that hit her the hardest was Zaba, she is going Boy. to fling some flaming tar at Zaba as she whips out she, the one hand that doesn't carry doesn't have the whip like she reaches into her pouch and flings some tar right at Zaba it's like all right how about you go back to hell and give Asmodeus my regards and we're gonna target you and strike Oh, that's a five on the die. That's going to be a miss. <laughs> Little do you know, I am immune to tar and mucus and other foolish things. This moldy is little bitch anyways. Go talk to him yourself. <laughs> and then she is going to flash the whip at Vesuviac. Good thing my armor class is a billion. <laughs> Roll four on the die this time. Good grief. And then strike at so with her claw. We'll see if I can actually hit something. Oh. And that's a natural 20. Oh. Oh. That's not good. Uh-oh. The first time you come in out of the hallway. Yeah, I'm never coming in a room again. <laughs> oh, oh, but that was snake so eyes. Bad. That was snake eyes on the, on the mm -hmm. damage. But Only half my life. 18, 18 with that crit. <laughs> but you do get to make a fortitude save as that tar does fill your wounds. Yay. Hey, a critical success. <laughs> you are now completely immune to Feldhag tar for the next 24 hours. Good for you. Always wanted to be immune to something. And you're actually immune, enough, not like Zaba, who just claims it's to true. be immune to everything. <laughs> <laughs> Fake it till you make it, right? <laughs> All right, Vesuviac, you're up. All right, it's worked so far. I am going to spend one action to get next to Syl, and then oh. immediately lay on hands. <laughs> okay. That was a nasty looking hit. All right. <laughs> Your lay on hands does a lot. Yeah. Well, I got one one of those left, and before I have to resort to battle medicine. And then with my final action. I don't maybe, have my sword out. Maybe move here to provide flank? Uh, yeah, good call. I'm going to do that. Because <laughs> there ain't no way Zaba's going to fit in that corner. <laughs> That's a very good point. I kind of wasn't thinking about flanking. <laughs> all right, cool. Uh, that'll be all I can do. All right, now the big boy. Zaba. Go, oh, Zaba. Fucking hurt this thing. <laughs> <sighs> and all. I, uh... Free action. Drop the trident on the ground. <laughs> action. Pick up my hammer. <laughs> okay. And then I move forwards. And that's all I got. No, you pick up your hammer, you move forward. Because it was oh, a free yeah. to drop. Yeah. Free to drop, yeah. And bring it down with full Gallagher hatred. Smash it with a hammer. They are fully trapped. Holy crap. Ugh. Five on Big the die. Five on that. Oh. Everybody's rolling fives. <laughs> She's rolling fives. Zava's rolling fives. Five crew. The new two crew. The new two crew. <laughs> five backwards two. two crew. I, yeah. I don't know which one's more disappointing. <laughs> I think it's the two because it's still a crit fail, even though it's not an at one. It's like, come on. <laughs> oh, come on, man. The one always hurts so much more, though. Okay. I have a question, a question for you, J uh, Jason. <laughs> Did you just say Jason? Jason. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm, I'm losing my mind. So, with another thing I want to do called Glimpse Vulnerability, it says I have to hold my implement. Do I still have my wand? Yeah, you should. Okay, because I was like, I don't remember seeing it. 
I just wanted to make sure. Okay, yes, I see it, I see it, I see it. Okay, cool. Yeah, you just can't fling magic with it or, yeah. or anything anymore. So it is literally just a stick. Yeah, it is. It is just a funny stick to point with. Yeah. Uh, which, I mean, he still technically had out. Uh, bah, 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 bah. God, I'm just trying to thank you again. Don't mind me. I mean, he might just do that spell again. Uh, well, actually, you know what? No. This granny needs something to her. Oh, I know what what he's about to do. Okay. So, the Dark Star... Oh, no, I have to touch them. Never mind. This bitch got real lucky. Uh, the Dark Star looks at this woman and, again, super not happy with the damage that they took. Oh. I think what... No, I can't do that spell. I, I'm, I'm like trying to think because there's so many spells I want to do, right? Like there's a lot of things I want to do. I think right now what uh, is going to happen is... Uh, I think I should use Chandler's, uh, Chandler's Stance right now, right? I think that would be smart. If you want to get into Chandler Stance, you can. And yeah. Yeah. I think that would be smart. So I have, it says I have to use a spell, right? For this, here, hold on. Let me send this. Sorry, this is a growing pains. I'm trying to learn the, the class that I'm now. So, yeah, so, no, it's channel or stance is just a stance. It's just an action. You get into a special stance for combat. Okay. So okay. for this one, it just, whenever you, when, while in the stance, whenever you sustain an apparition spell or a vessel spell, yeah. So right now you haven't cast your vessel spell mm -hmm. because your vessel is imposter in hidden places and your vessel spell is the discomforting whispers, which yeah. we still need to add to your sheet oh, um, yes, as focus right. points. That's that aura, that, that mm -hmm. misfortune aura where any creature that's within five feet of you has to basically gets disadvantage in D&D &D speak. Ah, uh, yes, 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 okay. So, um, but that what Channeler Stance does is that you get a bonus mm -hmm. to any damage that you do. Because when you, when they, the discomforting whispers, mm -hmm. so if they fail on that disadvantage, they take 1d6 or 2d6 uh, negative damage. But this one gives 2d6 plus 2 negative damage. Okay. Alright. You don't want your allies around you when you do that. Yeah, I don't want my allies necessarily around me for that. Though, no. Darkstar wouldn't kind of give a shit. Alright. So, okay then. Then instead, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cast Daze. I'm looking at this. I'm looking at this hag. I Daze thee. Okay, and she will attempt a will save. Five on the dot, it's another five. Fuck yeah! That's a failure, so she'll take full damage, but she, she's not stunned because she didn't critically It's not a fail. critical fail, yeah. But Alas. she'll take full... Four damage. That full damage. <laughs> oh, full four brain damage. Damn. Yep. Yeah, that's fine. At least it took a damage so on her. that's two actions. And you yes. got one more. Boy, I need to figure out what else I want to do, because I guess I guess it would be smart to glimpse vulnerability. Or, yeah. Or glimpse, yeah. glimpse weakness, I think it's... No, it's called glimpse vulnerability okay. on the sheet. Yeah, exploit weakness was, was what it... Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's what it used to be. All right. So you're holding your implement. Mm -hmm. You spend one action. You glimpse the hidden vulnerability and then strengthen it to aid you. Select a creature you see. And until you glimpse vulnerability again, the target gains weakness two against your unarmed and weapon strikes. Okay. So, yeah, that's all. Cool. So it just Sick. has weakness two against... Any weapon or unarmed strikes you do. Sick. That's perfect. I wanted to at least get that. All right, that's Timothy's turn. You just don't get any. Yeah, no bonus cool effects. knowledge. All right, Sil. 
yeah. Well, thank you, Vesuviak, for being there. I will go ahead and strike. Uh, 10 for 21. All right. That nice. is a success because of the off guard. The flank. Hey. I did it. I helped. <laughs> no. Nice. Yeah. Hey, you can Healing actually sneak and... attack. <laughs> Real damage. Real Not damage. Really damage anymore. And then I will swing again. Um, six for 13 is not going to do it. And, you know, I really appreciate the flank Vesuviac, but I'm just going to go stand behind Saba for, for a minute. Valid of you. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, <laughs> I can't take more hits. You're almost at full hit points. I know, but it was really scary. It was really <laughs> scary. <laughs> All right. Well, well, the granny gets to go next. Crap. <laughs> All right. Well, and the granny gets to go, and let's see here. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Granny's going to chase Sil, right? <laughs> Provoking from everybody as they go. The granny well, it is. D &D. Granny D and D. The granny is going to cast a spell. That's what the granny is going to do. Shit! I don't like that. This granny's casting spells. I won't back up. I free action put a bucket on her head, and she can't cast spells anymore. <laughs> Brilliant. Free action put her in the sack. <laughs> That's why you really came in. That yeah. was your job. That was my goal. She's probably still going in the sack, even if she's dead. Mm. It's fair. Mm. A haggy to sack. <laughs> <laughs> a haggy sack. Who knows how many dead bodies he's had in there, Timothy? And you were in there. Gross. <laughs> I'm, I'm just reading the spell real quick. Oh, God. It's never a good That's sign. Not good That's us. not good. Everyone, quick prayer. I, I can't believe they have that spell. I, I need Does to look up say, the bestiary. I need to look up the bestiary. Give me a second. Oh, God. Does it say <laughs> large barbarians automatically get a free attack when the <laughs> spell is cast? Because that'd Vesuviac be cool. Vesuviac has the ability of don't. <laughs> One veto a day. I guess, yes. Yeah, exactly. Have, we, uh, have you heard of groveling before? <laughs> now I'm not saying we'll do it, but if that's what you want... Might be able to convince some of us. Is this hag about to cast TPK'd. like a cloud kill or something in this room on us? I'm, I'm really, I'm starting to get nervous. This hag's about to cast oh, power word piss. Oh, okay. Okay, oh. yep. They're not. That's why. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense why they can't. She doesn't have those. Gotcha. Okay, she doesn't actually have that spell. Oh, cool. <laughs> but what was it? I'm not gonna tell you. <laughs> but she will cast this spell. Um, I'm fine with that. She will cast oh, this wow. spell. Oh yeah, that's fine. Oh. <sighs> um, she's gonna cast grease. She's a greasy grandma. She's a greasy grandma. A uh, greasy grandma. Not the greasy granny. <laughs> And we are part. going to place. Yeah, we're just going to do a line: the Suviac, the two under Zaba, and the and the one under Sil. So those four squares. So I oh. need the Suviac, Zaba, and Sil to roll that reflex save for me. Oh, oh boy! <laughs> oh wow, Sil! Yay! They use up all my nat twenties on saves. Another five. Five in this roll. All right. So each creature standing on the greasy s surface must succeed at a reflex save or acrobatics check. I'm assuming that your that, reflex was higher than your acrobatics. That would not help me. <laughs> or fall prone. Oh. So we have Zaba and Vesuviac who are prone. Ouch. Creature is using an action to move onto the greasy surface during the spell's duration must attempt either a reflex or acrobatic save 
to balance. A creature that steps or crawls does not have to attempt a check or save. All right, so you're fine. So that was two actions. And she looks down at the prone Vesuviac. Oh, bud. I'm... Targets the prone Vesuviac. <laughs> I'm fine. And will claw the prone Vesuviac. <sighs> I'm fine. And will uh. hit the prone Vesuviac. Oh! It, it wasn't a crit. For 13 damage to the prone Vesuviac. Uh. Good thing you don't have to make a fortitude save. The fortitude, the fortitude save on the prone Vesuviac, please. <laughs> oh, Why did you mention it? It's funnier this way. That's a no! fail. <laughs> oh, uh, I stand by my statement. It's still funnier this way. <laughs> it's it's All right. funny. As the tar that is in inside of your wounds starts to fester, it starts damaging you. You take six poison damage and become Ew. sickened one. Damn it. Okay. Nice. My goodness. Vesuviac, you just love being sickened, don't you? I, I think not every my every op every opportunity to be sickened, you have it's been sick. sickened. Just has a delicate tummy. He does so have gonna, a delicate tummy. I'm good at wisdom saves, like not for <laughs> delicate little tummy. Before All right, Vesuviac, you're up. All right. Oh, you're not up. I mean, well, yeah. I can still do things for the ground, right? You can't. You can you're, you're just gonna be prone. All right, Vesuviac is getting a little pissed. I'm gonna go ahead and stand up. Make a check because standing is a move action. All right, let's see if it works. Acrobatics or reflex. Not 20. Oh, yeah, you're fine. You can stand. <laughs> All right. And then I'm going to cast Burning Blade. Oh! Give okay. myself a scimitar made of fire and good. All right. That lasts for one minute. All right. And then I can't attack so, with it <laughs> right now because I already used not my yet. action. So. All right. Be. Now we go to Mr. Zaba Otrov. Let me remove Oops, that. Oops, I slipped. <laughs> Whoopsies. I make a fresh reflex save to stand up. You yeah, make big boom when I fall. <laughs> no. Nope. You... I, 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 yeah, I'm, I'm actually going to succeed at that one. Oh, you're going to use your hero point? I'm going to use a hero point and re-roll the reflex, because I would like to just stand up. <laughs> it's a point of pride at this point for Zabo. Mark my pride. <laughs> well, that was one That was one less. That was, that was a nine to an eight. <sighs> All right. I use my section, second action to attempt standing up. Don't use your entire turn. Oh my gosh, another no. five. I would like to strike her from my back. <laughs> you, you can do that. <laughs> uh, is there a negative to this? Oh, it's already on there. Perfect. Yep, you'll, you'll have it already factored in. 17 on the die. That's a hit. Hell yeah. Kill this granny. 11 damage. It's one of those swings where he just has his outstretched arm come all the way over the top and kind of just a loose boop because his arms don't quite reach long loose enough to get a proper boop. smack. A loose boop. Love that. <laughs> all right, Mr. Bono. Something about seeing his teammates getting hit. While Timothy's not necessarily in the pilot seat, the Dark Star can sense something as a Fine, and does another spell, but it's gonna be a big boy spell. Uh, at least he's gonna use another one of his big boy spells of a cantrip again, because he's fucking sick and tired of this thing. A <laughs> big boy cantrip. Big boy cantrip, because he doesn't. He's fucking moody. He was thinking about doing one thing, but he's like, no, I'll do this instead. Spite Timothy. Uh, he's gonna use torturous trauma again on this fucking woman. Nice. Yeah, roll that save, silly goose. All right. 
12 on the die is a success, so half you damage. S- you still take half damage from me, sucker. All right. Eh, seven damage. Uh, rather half of it will be yep. like... Three. Yeah. How's she looking? Not great. Not great? Okay. Great question for you. I was like, I just throw my fucking wand at her? <laughs> just fucking bonk her with it? No. God, I'm trying to think what would be the best thing to do right now. I think that's really it, though, that he can do. You can recall knowledge. I, I was going to say, like, I want to... I, I just wish I had a button for it, because I don't really have that. <laughs> uh, yeah, be, I don't really... It would be really society. It would be society? Okay. Yeah, just make a society check. Well, unfortunately for me, since Timothy had a retrain over, I don't really got anything for that, dude. Secret society is not going to do it. Yeah, I figured. No. All right, Cell, you're up. Yep. Moving (laughs) back over to the corner uh, without stepping in new grease. Hello. Um, Just kind of delicately stepping over his other's prone body. (laughs) You're doing great, buddy. (laughs) Uh, That was a good head. Yeah. Oh, that's a crit. Let's go. Because of the flank again. Yeah, 19 on the die. You're just like Roden. Oh, good grief. Okay. Get this grandma. Get this grandma. 14 damage. And she's down. Thank God. Yeah, let's go. We did it. And she goes down on the ground. I saw the the burning blade for nothing. The end of the it combat. Like, so, like, slices the throat and then immediately turns towards not Timothy and is like, Who the fuck are you? Yes. Sorry. I should introduce myself to you because you were not in the room. I am a part of Timothy. I'm called the Dark Star by him and by others. That sounds like the kind of name one gives to themselves and, you know, says that's what people call them, but secretly, you know, nobody calls them that. uh... No, that's very true, and I fucking despise the name, demon, so maybe, I don't know, back the fuck off. We got a spicy one here. (laughs) Yeah, so if I hit you hard enough, Timothy gonna come back out or what? He was a good guy, you seem like kind of a prick. I guess I will will relinquish myself. I'd rather not be in this room full of interesting characters, but I'll be here. Yeah, and, we'll see you again, I'm sure. Oh, you definitely will. And it's like Timothy drops to his like hands and knees and he starts like spewing up like black ichor and like bile. And he's just like oh, fuck. Fuck. <laughs> fuck. Oh my god, that was a lot of pain I was in. Shit, 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 I'm gonna have to run again. God damn it, no, I shouldn't have been seen like that. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Calm down. (sighs) Did it hurt you? Did it hurt you? No, we're fine. Are you okay? It's kind of an asshole. Uh, I've had to deal with it since I've been born, Saba. (laughs) Trust me. Sure, that's not something, you know, you broke your psyche from too much drinking. No, I saw no. that happen to this, like, half lemur <laughs> down in the pits once. And, no, no, you know, no, that's... Great. No, that... It points to that what was once the hag's body. That... Those fucking things ruined my life when I was younger and put that goddamn thing in me. Got you. I'm just going to take its scalp real quick. Is that cool with everybody? The I good don't luck. give a shit. It can burn in hell for all I care. Sil, is that cool? Or are we like a non-scalping group? I mean, if you want to, you know, desecrate its corpse, that's fine. Uh, uh, it's, oh, well, if it's about desecration, then I guess I'll just, you know, I'll just I'll leave it alone. But, you know, there's supposed to be good luck. What was that thing? I mean, she just looked like a... It's a hag. It, it was It was a fiend hag. This place is probably fucking haunted with hags. God, God damn it. 
You know, they uh, live in the woods, they drink swamp water, and it makes their blood all messy. Oh, and then all of a sudden, is... they do this crazy magic. They're obsessed with kidnapping children. It's this yeah. whole weird thing. They want cults, but they're too fucking weird to have them. Timothy is gonna start trying to get up and realizes how much fucking pain he's in, but it's gonna like kind of push past that. This is the echo step forward and help you out and also kind of give you a once over. I, I think Vesuviak is also looking at the stuff you threw up and is trying to figure out like what exactly he needs to do medically for that. I've. Is, don't, don't worry about me. Is she gone? And Timothy's is like, she gone? Timothy's is heart that? sinks and he's running. He's running. Where, where are you? And you all see that there's a tiny voice talking from then underneath the crack of the door. That was, that's right next to the bed. Timothy. It's like a closet door or yeah, something. Timothy, without thinking for a second, immediately opens up that door. And you see two small Orpok children, the Dardis children. Timothy, I think, immediately like lowers himself down. And he's like, eh, "She's she's not here anymore. She she can't hurt you. She and can't hurt you." The and you can just smell just the pungent reek of blankets and bedding and waste, and you can tell that the kids have just been been locked up in this bath this master bathroom for yeah. far too long yeah timothy timothy looks uh to these kids like it's okay she she's not here we're we're here to help you out you you're you're free come on we can get you here and get you out of, back to town make sure to cover up the corpse before you bring him out timothy actually does take off his jacket when he remembers about the corpse and puts it over the body oh, yeah so it was doing that behind oh. you but yeah oh, okay. thanks for the Vesuviak, you want to run downstairs quick? Before we bring the kids down there? Vesuviak kind of looks a little bit sad about that, but goes, All right, I'll head downstairs. <sighs> Timothy looks to these these Orpah kids. Oh, wh- what what are your names? Um, and, they, and they both just look at you, and they're like, Oh, I'm... I'm, I'm, I'm Charlie... Oh, and this is my little brother, Sam. We is where are mommy and daddy? They are back at town. Oh. They okay. went to get us for help. Okay. Okay. Good. I. I know that they, they, they let us. They said that we should stay here and with grandma granny and grandpa and but you we didn't listen and i we're sorry hey hey you're okay you and your brother are very very brave did you know that and at that the 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 young boy just kind of perks up and just kind of puffs his chest out a little bit let me give me who is it? Is it just you doc, talking to the kids? Anybody else talking to the kids? Uh, Zab is definitely Timothy. in the room listening. Okay. Zaba, I have something for you. Give, give me a second. Syl and Timothy, give me this check. Sick. It should be secret, right? Yes. Okay. Give me this check. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. That, that was great. Timothy. I was mm-hmm. hoping it'd be Timothy. But yeah, Timothy, perfect. At this one, Charlie, the yeah. young Orpak girl, kind of tugs at your sleeve yeah. for a moment. And she she's like, I I um I heard some of the workers talking about spirit folk and that that the farm needs to be protected by good spirits I uh, do you know anything about that is that what mommy and daddy are are talking about in town 
Yes, that's what they're talking about in town. We're, we were actually, like I said, we're here to bring you back to town to make sure you're all safe. Okay, because the the workers said that a couple days a couple days ago that the the good spirits stopped and meant that the bad spirits were gonna come. Do you know what the names of the good spirits were by any chance? They they the farmers called them Eldamon. Okay. All right. Thank you. And like Timothy, I think extends out his like hand to them. It's like. You guys want to walk with me? We'll take you downstairs. And we're, we're going to play a fun game, actually. And Timothy, like, gives him, like, a smile despite, like, trying his best not to show that he's in, like, immeasurable pain. We are going to play... Sorry, I <laughs> I had a game I used to do with this all the time. We're going to play a game called Blindfold. And what it is is that whenever I say Blindfold, you guys will cover your eyes, okay? It's really fun. The one who does it the fastest wins. And the kids both look at each other and they're like, they shrug. Oh, okay. Okay. So Timothy is going to look to Syl and look to Zaba and hopefully the hidden Orpok body. How bad does the room look right now? Like, does it look like, like something a child should not see essentially? Like, well, mostly the hag. The hag is really the... Yeah. She's been covered by blankets okay. yeah. and so yeah, Timothy's coat. Yeah. And Vesuviac should have cleaned up by now, Perfect. Timothy. Perfect. So I think you're good. Okay. Just in case. All right. And Timothy is going to start leading these two kids out. So come on, you two. Okay. Yeah. Vesuviac and- is definitely the funniest time cleaning. <laughs> 100%. Sil? Yeah. And Zaba. Yo. Both of you make me secret perception checks. As this is going on and Timothy's talking to the kids and you're you both of you are searching the room. Perfect. Okay. I also speak Orpok. I don't know if that'll have any help, but I just feel like mentioning it. Yeah, absolutely. Um yeah, and you can kind of crack some jokes or tell some t- t- talk to the kids a little bit in Orpok and that that'll help ease them a bit but Zaba as you're kind of, as Timothy's talking to the kids you notice well first let me let me let me, let me do so first so as you're kind of like taking a look around the room you do notice that in the fireplace you see evidence <laughs> of what happened to what very likely happened to the rest of the family as you can see the charred remains of bones in the fireplace that's fun just as you know timothy's telling the kids about mom and dad being in in town town. Uh uh-huh yep yeah yeah i was worried about that and zaba you as you're as you're also looking at looking through the room you know he kind of just casually glance behind the curtain uh, on one of the windows that's looking toward the north (laughs) and making a kind of like a wave through the bluebell crop you see two more felled hags approaching the farmhouse they look to be about 10 minutes out from where you are all right and you Time get the sense, you get the sense that this farmhouse was about to become a coven. And they are right. making, they are going to be here in now less than 10 minutes. You got 10 minutes. All right, guys, bet yourself up. We got some company coming through the crops. You know, more of these nasty ladies. Timothy looks and's like. Maybe okay. put the kids back in the bathroom. Yeah, yeah. Hey, okay. Remember how I said you guys were really brave? Oh, yeah. Timothy is not. Yeah. But if you want to, you know, be safe, just hide in there. Your parents were right. It's a good spot to hide. It's a really good spot. And if you guys uh, can hide back in there again, that'd be really good. Yeah, here you go. I'll, uh, I have a Rubik's Cube that only has four sides, uh, like uh, four four blocks on each side so it's oh. way too easy and I'll just kind of toss it to them and be like hey you know enjoy it's a fun game 
<laughs> okay. All right. So, so you got enough time to refocus, mm-hmm. tr- uh, treat wounds. Like, what do you want to do? Yep, I'm refocusing. I think Saba just wounds. goes and gets like 15 feet away from the edge of the crop line. And yeah. would like to set a number of his weapons just either stuck into yeah. the ground I'm gonna drag- or head first on top of them. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna just drag- kind of next to himself in a lion. I'm gonna drag you all outside. Okay. So like that we can you can get ready. Back outside we go. Oh no. Alright. Are you treating me? Yeah. Shit dog. Wait, can't you use one of your hero points? I can. That's worth it for this. Okay. So Vesuviac, <laughs> Vesuviac spending 10 minutes trying to treat wounds on Timothy. Uh, Timothy, what are you doing with your 10 minutes? Fuck, 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 fuck. Okay. Or, okay. Uh, we, you, while you're thinking, Syl, do you have anything you want to do with 10 minutes? Nope. Just thinking about what we're going to tell those kids when we they find out their parents aren't waiting in town. Yeah, listen, I had... Listen. I don't know what else I could have said, okay? I did not want to make their day worse. You did great, Timothy. Uh, Is uh, Darkstar coming back out, you think? I I don't want it to. Is he better at killing things than you are? Timothy just gives you the most, like, side-eyed stare ever. It's like, I don't want that thing possessing me. It's all right. If it gets out of control, I hit you with my hammer. You go to sleep. We wake you up, and you're better again. Uh, I I don't trust it. Uh, I, that's all right. Trust Syl. She got this under control. I know. I trust you all. I don't trust it. Oh, don't trust uh, me. That's a bad plan. I trusted you when I jumped into your sack, and you actually came back for me. You didn't have oh, to. Oh yeah, you know. That's fair, I guess. It doesn't uh, necessarily mean it was a good idea. Just no, it worked uh, out once. Look, but... I, I'm just saying. <sighs> Fuck. Okay. Uh, I don't really have anything to heal with. Timothy. You, don't you have another potion? I have. <laughs> I have. Oh, what? was Jackson using a hero point or no? I he did. did. He did. I got a oh, 15. Oh, no. I, I rolled the same number twice. Which is horseshit. Can I give him one of my hero points? <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh, that's horseshit. Uh, I have... A, you don't have any healing potions? I have a heal, a elixir of life. It's a minor one, though. Which is 1d6. Here. Better than nothing. Why don't you use this one? It's a, a proper healing potion. And then we can save your elixir of life as our backup, backup when yeah. one of us goes down. So I'm going to click this button that I think rolls. Oh, snake eyes. Oh. Hmm. Hey, well, I'll take anything. He he just drinks it. So he gets healed for that seven. He's less than half health, so he doesn't look great. But he I think he just takes a second to like steady his mind and he I think just says I like to himself it's like if if for whatever reason you're fucking listening, Dark Star I might need your help or whatever else can come to my aid. Because he doesn't know about the other things. All right. And as that's going on, you can all dr- you can all have your weapons drawn. You can get ready. Mm-hmm. And you see two more felled hags. The same kind of hags with those birch whips and that felled tar under their nails. Like coming through the bluebell crop, the bluebell fields in these waves, a- a- almost as if they felt that the third of their coven is gone and they do not look happy. And yeah. we are going to pick that up next episode, folks. TPK. All right. TPK. No! May your party never end. May your party never end. The Jewel of the Indigo Isles Adventure Path is copyright 2023. 
All logos, titles, and artwork are property of Skyscraper Studios and Roll for Combat and used with permission. Pathfinder is a trademark of Paizo Incorporated. The theme music is written and performed by Robbie Whiplash.